Hello, hello. Warrior Child, thanks for joining. Do me a favor, come in and share. Come in and invite. Here on this altar, so Lord use my hands. God bless you, God bless you. Come on in, y'all share. I got a quick message today. Won't be before you long. Thank you, Lord. You're truly worthy. Praise the Lord. How you doing? God bless you. Let me see your profile. Not really. Warrior child. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. You look familiar. I just don't know you by name. <laughs> but anyway, I thank God for you. Thank you for coming in. Just need one of these in. I don't need two. But God bless y'all. Thank y'all for joining. Real quick teaching today. Just want to encourage you because we, we in a hour. Well, people are really called by God. But I think uh, I titled this, Will You Answer the Call? Because as many people, many of you have been called by God. Many of you are prophetic people. You are prophets. You, you prophetess. You're walking in the gifts of God. But see, many of us haven't answered the call. I'm going to say this today, that it's time for you to really find your calling. But will you answer the call? We live in a time now where everybody, everybody want to be an apostle. Everybody want to be a prophet. Everybody want to be a prophetess, but I'm going to tell you, the power is not in the title. The power is from God, the one that gave you the title, the one that gave you the anointing. He says, you have this treasure in earthen vessels. What is he talking about? He's talking about the Holy Ghost in you. He's talking about the anointing that's in you. See, you can, you can have a title, but do you have the oil on your life to back up this title? You see what I mean? It, it's more to just putting a title on you. And to just saying, you know what, I'm going to get this title because it looks good. And you know what I mean? I want people to flock to me because I got this name. I got my name up in lights. You know, I can prophesy. I can minister. What, what, what I also know is, are you called to this thing? Are you really called? Have you really been chosen? Are you anointed and appointed for this thing? Because many people, they put on a title and they think that's going to bring you the anointing. That's not going to bring you the anointing. That's not going to bring you the anointing because you, 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 you let man, man gave you a title or you, some of you, you, some of you put, gave a title to yourself. So, see, are you, are you anointed for this thing? Are you anointed and appointed for this thing? Or, or you just, or you chose yourself? Did God choose you? But I'm going to minister a quick message. I'm going to do more of a teaching because many of you are called, but I want to ask you again, will you answer the call? The call in your life. Watch this. Matthew 22 and 14. If you have a Bible, Matthew 22 and 14, he says, for many are called, but few are chosen. He says, for many are called. There are many called, right? But there are only few are chosen. Meaning there's only a few that's going to get that anointing. There's only a few that's really going to walk hand in hand in God. Not only that, but there's only a few that's going to be hearing from God. One thing I know for sure. I avoid all this uh, God is saying. Well, and for one, God ain't speaking to everybody. Everybody ain't a prophet. Everybody ain't a prophetess. God is not speaking to everybody. See, one thing I know for sure, ha has God spoke to you something? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Many, many, it says many are called, but few are chosen. See, this is why I say God is not appointed everybody. God has not anointed everybody. So it's more to just getting a title and just jumping up and say, hey, I want to be in ministry. I want to be, I want to preach like my man of God, my woman of God. Many of you are called, feel like you called because somebody else is called. One thing you want to know, you need to know for sure, you don't just jump in a ministry because you think you called. You wait on the voice of God. One thing about me, I didn't ask to be a prophet. I didn't ask to be called. But I knew when God, when I heard that voice and when God began to speak to me and God began to show me mysteries and revelation and insight, when God, when I got my confirmation through God, I didn't get my confirmation through man. I didn't get validated by man. I knew I was called by God. You see what I mean? Many are called, but few are chosen. I'm saying this today because we got so many people 
they're they're identifying with titles instead of identifying with the anointing. Just because somebody got an anointing, don't a, a, a title, excuse me, a title. That don't mean they're calling. That don't mean they're anointed. Anybody can put a title on themselves. You can go online and get a title. It's not about that. It's God called you for this thing. But how you know you call? Watch this. Let, let's let's look at what happened to Jesus. How you know you was really called? Isaiah 53, uh, 53 and 5. Isaiah 53 and 5. He says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon his shoulders. And by his stripes, we were, with, he, we were healed. How many, if you know you was really called, if you know you was really called, if you, if you was really called, you'll have anointing on your life. If you was really called, you'll be isolated. God won't have everybody around you. God won't have everybody speaking into your life. If you was really called by God, I'm telling you right now, you'll have persecution. You'll have struggle. One thing about the Jesus anointing, the Jesus anointing attracts betrayal. So you're going to have people backstab you. You're going to have people turn their back on you. You're going to have people talk about you. You'll be picked out to be picked on. See, one thing about it, are, are you really chosen by God? Yeah, does everybody like you? One thing about it, if everybody like you, that don't mean you call. Because a lot of those people, they like you because you prophesy. See, a lot of them people have itchy ears. They don't want the truth. They don't want sound doctrine. And one thing I know in this hour, people are being fooled by titles. Many are called, but few are chosen. Just because I see you with a title on, that don't mean you call. That don't mean God chose you. I'm not listening to a title just because you can prophesy and you can preach. The devil can do the same thing. The devil can sing. The devil can minister. So I'm not worried about a title. I'm not worried about a title. Many with these titles, they wolf and sheep clothing. They come in a sabotage. These are witches and warlocks in disguise. The, the devil had disguised himself as an angel of light. So one thing about it, I don't care about what it looked like, how well you can sing, how well you can prophesy. Are you really anointed and appointed for this thing? Did God really choose you? Was God really speaking to you? In this hour, I believe the real prophets are going to stand up and proclaim the word of God. I believe the least of the least are going to be the greatest in this season. One thing about it, are you called? Will you answer the call? When God wakes you up in a midnight hour to, to give you revelation, to speak to you, are you available for God? Are you being obedient? Are you listening to the voice of God? Or will you answer the call? I want to say this today because there's a many a call, many a call, but few are chosen. It's not about a title. It's not about a title. Because guess what? The title don't mean you have the anointing. Just because you give yourself the title, that don't make you anointed. Come on now, you got to wait for God to anoint you. So now you want to be like somebody else because somebody else prophesied. You see everybody else got a big name. You see so-and-so a prophet. Now you want to be a prophet. You know what that is? That's called identity confusion. Now you don't know what you want to be. Now you was a Jehovah Witness. Now you don't know if you want to be that or you want to be a prophet. Come on now. You don't know what you want to be because you confuse. And see, that's what happens when you let everybody speak into your life. You let everybody speak into your life, so now you confuse. You don't you don't receive the wrong word from the wrong realm. You, re, you you listen to these prophecies, you listen to these fake prophets. Now you confuse. Now you're going this way, now you're going that way. See, that's what happens when you don't get an authentic relationship from God. That's what happens when you don't hear from God. A lot of people, they not really hear from God. That's why I say I see your title and I see you prophesying. But where is that prophecy coming from? I don't know. That could be a familiar spirit speaking to you. Don't you realize some of these people, they're not connected to God. These people connected to voodoo psychics. They're connected to familiar spirits. They listen to stuff and it's not God. Some of these people got a ghost, but it's not the Holy Ghost. I don't know what that is. And see, the prophetic, one thing about the prophetic, people are being confused just because somebody can prophesy.
Just because you can see somebody prophesy and lay hands and you see signs and wonders, guess what? The devil can operate out of signs and wonders. He can do that too. He can do that too. Many are called, but few are chosen. Did God anoint you or appoint you for this thing or did man appoint you? Because they gave you a pat on the back and they said, oh, you sound good. You may be chosen. You can chosen. You can be gifted and not anointed. You can be gifted and not, not anointed. Don't you know some of these people right now, they seem anointed, but they not. You know what that is? They got education. They got doctor degrees. They got bachelor degrees and master's degrees. They didn't go through the fire to get this anointing. One thing about ministry is birth, uh, birth out of misery. It's birthed out of your pain. It's birthed out of you going through, from going through the trial, from being afflicted. But I know for sure it was good that I was afflicted. It was good that God brought me through the trial. It was good that God anointed and appointed me for this thing. Are you called? Are you called? Many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called. It's more to just a title. You got to get the anointing. You got to get that oil on your life. You got to get the anointing to flow through you. You got to be an oracle of God. Don't you want God to use you? How many of y'all right now really saying, God, I want that anointing. God, I want you. God, I want you to possess me. I want to be your oracle. God, I want to be used by you. How many people are really, really seeking the anointing in this hour? Or are you just title hungry? You just want a title. You just want to be seen. You just want to be seen. A lot of people, they just want to be seen. They want a paycheck. They want the people money. They're not in it for the gospel. But guess what? Although Jesus was preached, I counted all joy. As Paul said, some come in the gospel for good motives and bad motives. But the fact that Jesus Christ is preached, I rejoice because of that. Many are called, but few are chosen. Don't flock to a title. What does the fruit look like? Do they have the anointing? Some of these people have titles, but they're not even anointed. Can't feel nothing. Got a title, but ain't got enough power to blow your nose. Laying hands on folks, they're not feeling nothing. You prophesying, ain't nothing coming to pass. If you call yourself a prophet and you prophesying, at least something should come to pass. You should at least have some kind of wisdom, some kind of word. One thing about a prophet of God you're going to know a true prophet, not by because when they prophesy something come to pass, but by the fruit, how they live, about the things that they speak. Don't be confused by a title when it's out. Will you answer the call? Are you called? God didn't bring you through the fire for no reason. God didn't leave you like in that. He's not going to leave you in that situation. God had to bring you through to try you to prove you. But the ones that stood the test, God going to pour out an anointing. Will you answer the call? God has called you, but will you answer it? So many of us are backing up from the call of God on our lives. We're not listening to God. We forsook the word and we're not even staying connected to God. If you really want to know if you're chosen by God, if you really want to know, get in the face of God. Say, God, reveal my calling. Reveal what it is you have for me to do in this hour. Because, God, I'm walking around confused. I don't know what I want to be. God, reveal who I am in you. One thing about it, when you find out who you are in God, when you find out who you are in God, you find your purpose. See, God wants to use you. Are you ready to be used for God? Are you willing to be a vessel of honor and not a vessel of dishonor? Are you willing to really let God possess you and speak through you? Don't you realize that God is not going to dwell in an unclean temple? So it's time to get delivered. It's time to really seek God like never before. Not one way, one foot in the world and one foot in the church. You still backbite, you gossiping, but still talking about you want to be used by God. Still talk about that God, listen, that you that you seeking God, but you still in the world. Don't you realize that those that are friends of the world are enemies of God? You have to really want God more than anything in this hour. It's time out for playing. It's not about a title. It's not about a show. God, I need your anointing. God, I need you more than it. God, I need you to possess me. God, use me for your glory. How many want to be used for the glory? But in order to be used for the glory, you got to be connected to the glory. 
You got to stay connected to God. God is really seeking those who are seeking him. Especially in this hour, God's looking to pour out his spirit. God's looking to anoint nobodies, people that they talked about, people they downed you, they looked at you crazy, said you wasn't going to be nothing, said you wasn't going to amount to nothing. But wait until what God gets ready to do. Wait until God reveals his glory in your life. And the people that's connected to you, even they'll be blessed. Not only will they call you blessed, they're going to call those blessed that, that's connected to you. I need you to receive it. Because so many of us have been in that place that we're saying, God, are you going to use me? I'm seeing you use everybody else. What about me? What about me? God, have you forgotten me? God hasn't forgot you. God say, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And the beginning is better than the end. And the end is better than the beginning. I said that backwards, but anyway. <laughs> but listen, God is going to move in your life. God is going to move in your life. I don't care what it looks like. God, I want to know, if, am I called by you? God, use me in this hour. Use me for your glory. God, I'm tired of sitting in the pews. I really want my gift to be used. I really want to operate out of you, God. I'm ready to flow with you. Speak through me. Possess me. Tabernacle my flesh, Lord. Let me, let me keep my eyes stayed on you. Loose the spirit of concentration upon my life. Fill me with that glory. Fill me with that anointing. Fill me with new revelation, a new word, new insight so people can come out. Give me a word of fire in my mouth to consume the people, to consume my enemies. Speak through me. Let me be an oracle of God. Anoint my mouth. Anoint my hands. Let me be used by power. Send that glory. Send that love, old coach, Shabbat. Send that anointing, Jesus. How many want to be used by God? How many really want to be used by God? It's time for you to... Will you answer the call? It's time to receive it. Many are called, but few are chosen. God, we need you more than anything. God, use us in this hour in Jesus' name. I just want to encourage you. Will you answer the call? God is calling you. God has chosen you. Begin to walk in what God has called you to do. Don't be afraid of their faces. If God spoke a thing, begin to prophesy, begin to speak a thing, begin to declare the word of God, what God has spoken to you and the written word of God in Jesus name. Y'all be courage. I love y'all. Y'all stay connected to God. Be blessed.